सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवोहम वी आर टेकिंग द इलेवन स्टेंजा ऑफ इलेवन चैप्टर ऑफ गीता दिव्य माला दिव्य माल्याम दिव्य गंधानुलेपनम सर्वाश्चर्यमय देव मनत विश्व तो मुखम ओं गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरव नम ध्यान मूल गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरु पदम मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सदगुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिवो दिव्य मालांबरधरम दिव्य गंधानुलेपन सर्वाश्चर्यमय देवंत विश्व तो मुखम दिव्य मालांबरधरम इट मींस द डिवाइन नेकलेस एंड डिवाइन ornaments and divine cloth divya gandhanulepanam it means with the divine odoma on whole body sarvashcharyamayam it means with all the wonderfulness or miracles anantam it means unlimited infinite expansion vishuto mukham everywhere his mouth the greatest form of his vast expansion of the body devam the supreme god paramatma parameshwar it is the meaning of the words and now the whole meaning of stanza in worldly meanings the arjun seen that uh, the very big form of the body of parmatma bearing the divine dresses and the divine necklaces and ornaments and divine odoma all over the body and that was all miraculous arjun see the endless expansion and he see that the everywhere in every dimension there is millions of the face very vast and very very biggest expansion of supreme god parmat sachidanand parmatma the master of millions of galaxies and the billions of the universes was very merciful on arjun and he exposed his the great form in front of arjun even the arjun was not able to see that form but the parmatma given the divine eyes to the arjun and arjun see and what he see in this stanza telling that he see the divine faces everywhere in every dimension he see that every face bearing the divine ornaments the divine necklaces the malas 
and the aroma, the smells, the sweet smell is coming very miraculous, very divine. And the feeling is that whole the body is covered by that very very pure smelling the divine material, mask type material. And he was very miraculous. He was very, he was feeling very wonderfulness that the unfinished infinite expansion as as his size is going is seeing seeing and seeing the faces 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 and the signing of ornaments and the cloth oh my god that was the heavenly cloth he, he never seen that type of cloth and this is the existence expansion and existence scenario at that time but it this is the outer description of this stage everybody knows that the Paramatma knows everything and living in every person's inside. So, in the pre previous stanzas and the previous chapter, the Krishna is telling to the Arjuna that the, the Krishna Tattva, the Satchidananda Tattva, is the omnipresent Tattva. And now, after teaching the theory, of spiritual science, now the Krishna is teaching the practical science to the Arjuna. And what is the practical science? The exposure of the expansion of the divinity and greatness. And it proves that if you stand with the master Sadhguru, then one day will come that your observation becomes so divine and keen and vast and powerful. So that condition when you see inside the presence of the existence, effect and, and the greatness, that is Divya Chakshu. That is divine eyes. When you see inside, when you see the seer, when you see the miraculous, the differentiation of in the nature seems outside, but inside. Everything is similar, everything is same, everything is made by God existence that is called Atma. So when you see inside, it is not question of feeling, it is question of direct seeing. The darshana, the darshana is very, very, very uh, significant word, technical term in the spiritual science. Darshana, it means the last stage of the knowing. I want to say the God existence is beyond the knowing also. Every knowing is your Jeev stage. Every knowing is comes from your Chidabhas. When all knowing will stop, then the Buddhatva will begin. So the
Virat Sarupa is also a biggest instrument to teach the Arjuna. Virat Sarupa is also the Yoga Maya's form, formation of the Yoga Maya. Because God has no need of Virat Sarupa. Because God is omnipresent, He is living in every particle. And He is a very powerful presence. He can organize or He can origin, origination and He can destruction. And the shape changing, these are all. This shape changing, these all changes. These changes are happen in the nature. The changes is not happen in the God existence. God existence is unchangeable. It is never change. It is never original. It is never end. It is not never distant. So every knowing and every description and every exposure and every language and every word and every feeling all are in the maybe in the Maya or maybe in the Yoga Maya. Existence beyond all these things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.